Now the next way I'd like to show you is creating a purchase order and then receiving against the purchase order when the items actually come to your store. And this will help you keep track of what you've ordered. Um, so before I dive into that, um, actually, you, so you'll need to create vendors in the system so you can identify where the orders came from. So what you can do is click vendors down below here. And if you hit search, you can, you can see all the vendors that are currently created on your database. So to create a new vendor, it's really simple. Um, you're just going to click create new down below. And then you're going to type in the name of the vendor uh, or wholesaler that you're getting your products from and then retype their name again. And of course, any information you have on them um, regarding their address, contact name, email, any notes you'd like to put in. This is important because if you ever want to print a purchase order and fax it to a vendor, or if you want to email it to a vendor, everything will look neatly on, the, on a header. And then you're going to simply click Save down below. And that will create your, your store vendor. Now keep in mind one thing uh, with Wireless Standard, in order to see the vendor appear to work with the vendor, you just need to log off. Um, so you would simply go to File, Log Off, and then you would log back in, and then you would be able to see the vendor. So to create a purchase order in the system, um, you're going to click Enter Order here on the left. And then you're going to see the vendor that you just created on this list. And, and this is where you're going to tell the system this is where you're ordering from. So again, this is double entry. You've already created your purchase order with the vendor, but now you're just re-entering the information in Wireless Standard to help you keep track of, of your orders. So let's say, um, for instance, we ordered from this Alphacom vendor. So I'll double-click Alphacom, and now notice it says vendor Alphacom and we're currently logged into the Brooklyn store. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look up all the items that you've ordered on this purchase order. So for example, say we ordered about five of these cases at 15 each. And let's order some phones. Let's say we ordered three of these phones at 200 each. You can save this purchase order as a draft as well if you want to add more to it. But um, when you're ready to actually save the purchase order as a document, um, you simply click Post on the top left. Now keep in mind, um, if the vendor gave you a purchase order number that you want to refer to, because you may have you know, multiple purchase orders created in your system, um, you're going to simply note it in this reference number area. We also create one for you in Wireless Standard under this PO number. So for instance, let's make up a number here just to refer to it so, so I can show you guys an example. Eight nine zero one nine, and now I'll click post. So now our purchase order has been created. So it's really simple um, to create the purchase order. You just click enter order, select your vendor or wholesaler, put in your PO number here, look up your products, and then click post. So now if the order has physically arrived to your store location, um, you can receive against it because you've already created this order. So what you're going to do is click Receive Items in the middle. And this time, instead of click, clicking uh, Receive Express, which you can always do if, if that's the method you want to choose, if, but if you created a purchase order, you can see them if you click the drop down and you select the vendor. So for instance, Alphacom. And here's our 89019 reference number. And here's our order. 
So to see this order um, on our receiving screen, um, you're simply going to check it off on the left and then click OK on the top right. And now here it is populated on our receiving screen. To receive against the order, um, it's really simple. So you're just going to look at what you've ordered under order quantity. So we've ordered five of this iPhone 5 case. And to receive against it, we're simply going to click in the quantity cell and type in how many we actually physically received. So if you only receive four, you would type in four. And that way it will put the, the last item that they owe you on a back order. But in this case, let's say we received all five. And now moving on, um, we did order three of these phones. And let's say we received all three. We'll just type in three and then enter. And then we'll go ahead and scan in the three IMEI numbers. Again, you can always preview the IMEIs that you just scanned in if you click the plus on the left. Here they are. And when you're ready to save this stuff to the database to sell it, um, simply click post on the top left. Again, for those of you who are integrated with our QPay uh, inventory management system, you're, you'll be prompted here to register your, your serialized devices to the um, the QPay uh, system. And you'll, you'll simply click yes here and it will bring you right to the integration where you'll copy and paste the serial numbers to register them all in one shot in wireless standard. And now we've fully received our items and we're ready to sell.